Hi everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about my baby registry and what sort of items are on my registry list. If you guys are brand new around here, please make sure to subscribe. My wife Vanessa and I are expecting our first baby who is due September 4th, 2021. Let's get right into the video. I will be sharing with you guys some of the items that I have put on my baby registry list and why I've chosen the items. And I'll break it down into categories so you guys can see what's on there. So the baby registry that I chose to go with is baby list. The reason that I like baby list is because you can add items from any store onto baby list and your friends and family aren't restricted to only purchasing items from one store, like all from Target, all from Bye Bye Baby. This way I can put on items on there from Amazon, from Bye Bye Baby, from specialty stores um, like Snuggle Me Organic, which is obviously not in a Target store. So if I see something on Instagram that I like, then I can add it on to baby list and it's really convenient. I also have a registry through Amazon because I created a registry with Amazon in order to take advantage of their free um, baby registry box that they give. It's like a freebie gift and has a lot of samples. So I do have an Amazon registry that I have linked below in order to share with you guys. Um, but my baby list registry is private just because it does have my address on it. And so I'm not going to link that one below, but I will link all of the items that I'm talking about today in the description below so that if you're interested in the item, you're able to get to it and add it on to your baby registry if you choose. Okay, so the first category that I'm going to be talking about is what I call playtime category. First item that is on there is the Fisher Price 2-in-1 Soothe Glide Plus. So this glider is like a bouncer or like a seat that you could just put the baby in. And it also has a feature where it can like rock, like just like a normal rocking chair. So it's kind of like a bouncer, but more like a rocker. And then it also has a feature where it like manually will move. So kind of like a swing. The reason that I went with this item as opposed to like a traditional swing and a traditional bouncer is because I felt like it was able to accomplish both those things in one. And the less items that I have to have, like filling up my living room, I feel like the better. So um, I also know that the Mamaru is a really popular um, style of chair like this for the baby, but I didn't want to go with the Mamaru just because the price was a little bit higher. And I felt like this, this chair was going to accomplish all of those features in one. The next item that I have in my playtime category is the Skip Hop Silver Lining Activity Center. So this item is like an exercise where the baby can sit in it and like, you know, bounce their legs a little bit and play with different items. It's not a walker, so it doesn't physically move, but I'm okay with it not being a walker. The other thing that I really like about this one is the fact that it transitions. As the baby gets older, it can become like a table setting so that if the baby's standing and, and they can like lean on it and still play with the toys. So I really like this one as well. There are some items that I left off my registry because we actually have purchased a lot for the baby so far. Much like a bumbo seat, we have already purchased this other type of seat for the baby that they can just sit in and it also has like a tray so they could eat at it as well, I guess. Um, so we have purchased that already. So that's something that's not on my registry. And then also we have purchased this little like outdoor portable beach day thing so 
basically like when the when the baby is small and you're going somewhere it's easy to just set it up and the baby can lay in it and take a nap for the day we have that already as well one last item that i will mention that is in my playtime category is the california beach co pop and play i chose to go with the california beach co pop and play as opposed to a traditional like graco pack and play and there are a few reasons for this one being that i really like the size of the pop and go itself um there's a like a little zipper on the front and you could actually crawl in there with the baby and be playing with the baby in there whereas i physically cannot get into a graco pack and play and play with my kid so that was really appealing to me also, I've watched a lot of videos on this product and it seems to be lighter and easier to take with you on the go. It also comes with a UV sunshade and it also has an option for like a little mattress in there and a little like sheet so that it's a little bit more comfy for the baby to sit and play on. So I'm really excited about this product and I do hope that I am gifted it on my registry. So the next category that we will go into is bedtime. Now, as I said before, we have already purchased a few things for the baby. So we already have a Snuggle Me Organic lounger, baby lounger. And I was really excited about the Snuggle Me just because I've seen such good things on it. It's very comfortable for the baby to just sit in, get snuggled in, and just lounge around. Obviously, it's not meant for the baby to actually sleep in, but it is really nice to have that baby lounger as another place that baby can lay and I'm very excited to use my Snuggle Me Organic. Now, my family has pitched in and purchased our crib for us already. We don't physically have it here yet, but it should be here in a month or so. It was pretty popular, and so we are waiting for a restock on it, but we went with the Nest Egg Wave Crib. I really love this crib. I love the look of it, but also I love how transitional it can be. So it can start as a mini crib, which could actually take the place of a bassinet. And also with the size of our nursery, I think a mini crib to start is a really nice space saver. And then it obviously converts to a full size crib. As a full size crib, obviously it has the levels where it can be higher or lower. And from there you can convert it into a toddler bed and the toddler bed is really pretty. I'm very happy that my family was able to get this item for me. And I know that it will be a piece of furniture that I will have for a long, long time. So a few items that I have added into my bedtime category on my registry are the halo bassinet. I know that for the first few weeks, maybe even the first few months, baby will be sleeping in our bedroom. And the halo bassinet is really nice because you can, you know, tuck it right next to the bed and have it very close by to be able to just easily grab baby in the night. But yet baby still has his own safe space to sleep in. We aren't going to be co-sleeping, but I feel like that is the closest alternative to close sleeping so that is why i chose the halo bassinet another item on my registry is the love to dream swaddle this swaddle is super cute but beyond that i think it's really practical because a lot of babies when they're swaddled they don't want to be swaddled with their arms down what am i doing with my arms they like their arms up here and so this has like the little wings it's hot. i mean you'll see a picture of it right there but it has the little wings so that their arms can be up like this so i think that's like more comfortable for baby obviously we won't know what he prefers and what type of swaddle he likes but i am excited to get this item and see if he enjoys that swaddle and the last item that i will mention on the bedtime category is the hatch baby rest this is a light and sound machine and also has a clock on it and you can set the settings for different colors depending on whether it's bedtime or wake time or nap time and i really like the idea of having a sound machine that is like an all-in-one where it has multiple features and it's really going to be a nice addition to the nursery
So the next category that I will be talking about is diapering. So there are a few things that we have already for baby and one of them is this diaper caddy right behind me. This diaper caddy was gifted to me by one of my family members off of my Amazon registry. So I will link this item in the description below. I think it's really cute and I think it's a great idea to have all of your diaper essentials in one spot and be able to just grab it and go so that if we're hanging out in the living room or a different part of the house, we're able to just easily take diapers and wipes, creams and all the things that we need with us and not always have to bring him back into the nursery in order to do diaper changes. Also in my last video, you might have seen my diaper bag, which is the Skip Hop Sweet 7-in-1. That is the diaper bag that I will be using most of the time and we are also very excited about this new diaper bag that we just got and this will mainly be Vanessa's diaper bag. So I will open this bag up and show it to you because this bag was actually gifted to us from Kia Babies. Kia Babies is a company that was started by a wife and a husband after having their first baby. What I love about this company is the supportive community that it has and also their mission, which is to inspire parents to build a strong parent-child bond and create wonderful moments together. It's a company that I am happy to collaborate with and continue to support. Kia Babies has a great selection of baby, maternity, and parenting products from belly bands to diaper bags, washcloths and bibs, to baby carrier wraps. They really have a huge selection. So make sure to check out the link in the description below to receive 10% off or use code TESTFAM at checkout for 10% off of your purchase at Kia Babies. Okay, so I'm going to open this up again. I just received it, so I haven't taken a look at it yet. Ooh. So the first thing that comes in here is a little thank you card from Kia Babies, which is really sweet, as well as a cute little poem slash affirmation thing, just to really inspire parents. Obviously parenting is difficult. I don't personally know yet because this is our first baby, but I can only imagine. Um, so that is very sweet of them. And let's look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So this is a backpack style diaper bag, which Vanessa really wanted a backpack style. Um, I The style of diaper bag that mine is, is a tote. And it's nice to be able to be hands-free when you're carrying baby, carrying a car seat, carrying all sorts of things. So the fact that it's easy right on the back is perfect. So open this up here. Inside, there's so much space. Oh my gosh. This is seriously massive. Like way bigger than I was expecting. I love that. Look how deep that is. And it opens up really wide here, so you're not struggling to get in there. You can see everything that you have. It's got lots of pockets on the inside. Also, this came in it as well. So you've got your changing pad that's lined. And this is big. This is bigger than the one that was in the skip hop, which is nice because obviously baby isn't an infant the whole time they're in diapers. So it has this really big, nice changing pad. So that's awesome. Lots of compartments. You got a pouch on the side here. Nice pouch here. Big pouch here. Wow. Even more items. Pockets to stash items. Oh, it looks like these are cooler lined. Oh, this would be a good, this would be a spot for the baby bottles because they're lined and insulated and there's three spots for them. So you're not just limited to only carrying one baby bottle. So this is a really nice bag. I'm really happy with this. So thank you, Kia Babies, so much for sending me this bag. And I really hope you guys check out the link in the description below. Check out Kia Babies' website, see what they have to offer. Maybe get yourself a beautiful bag like this. I love this color. Very, very excited about this. So 
So aside from diaper bags, we have a few other items that we have put onto our registry for diapering. And one of them is the Ubi diaper pail. So this is basically a trash can for the dirty diapers. And the reason that I chose the Ubi over like a munchkin or a diaper genie is the fact that the Ubi is a stainless steel container and the diaper genie and other items like that are made of plastic and the plastics tend to hold and absorb those smells a little bit more with the stainless steel hopefully less smell less stink um that is the idea also i know that a lot of those other pails you have to buy specific bags or specific liners to go with them and the ubi pail just uses a normal trash bag so i feel like that's convenient i don't have to worry about getting normal trash bags and you know diaper genie bags and all sorts of other things you know two in one and that's easy so i am I'm excited about that product. As far as the changing pad goes, I really like the Hatch Grow Smart. The thing that I like about this changing pad is the fact that it is, it's not fabric, so it's easily like wiped down and sanitized. Um, I really wanted to go with like a Kikaru or something of that nature. Um, and I was drawn more towards the hatch because of the weighing feature. So it also can double as a scale to weigh baby. Um, I do plan on trying to breastfeed. And of course, if you're breastfeeding the baby and not pumping, you may not know how much weight the baby's gaining. So it's a nice feature to be able to just weigh the baby and monitor his growth and make sure that he's getting what he needs. He's getting bigger. He's not losing weight. Um, that is obviously can be a concern in the beginning. So it's a, like a peace of mind factor. So I do like the hatch changing pad for that reason. And lastly, in the diapering category, we have cloth diapers. So we do plan on cloth diapering um, at least part of the time trying it. Um, I'm not going to 100% say that we're never going to use disposable diapers. I don't think that's realistic. I think if we're out and about, um, disposable diapers are going to be useful and practical. But at the same time, I do want to reduce the waste that I'm creating. And I like cloth diapers for that. Of course, there are other things that go along with cloth diapering, like liners and, you know, sprays to spray them out and like different containers and bins and things. And so I've really been trying to do my research and figure out what I will need in order to cloth diaper. I would love to do a video on cloth diapering um, later down the road if I really get into it and I find what works best. Yeah, for now we have put a bunch of cloth diapers onto the registry and we hope to be gifted a bunch so that we can start cloth diapering as soon as possible. Alrighty, so the final category that I'm going to touch on is our transportation category. We have already purchased a Graco infant car seat. We had purchased that a long time ago. So we're all set with bringing baby home from the hospital. But one thing that we don't have is a convertible car seat. Obviously there's weight restrictions with the car seat. And once he grows out of that, he's going to need a bigger seat. So we have put on a Graco, it's like a four in one convertible car seat. He can use that car seat for a longer span of time. It will like adjust and move. You can use it rear facing, forward facing, and then it just continues to grow with the child. Another item that I put in the transportation category is the Mockingbird single to double stroller. I spent a long time looking at strollers and what stroller I really wanted to go with. I love the aesthetic and idea of a up a baby Vista, but financially, I just don't think it's worth that money. And I definitely don't expect my family or friends to be able to afford that price tag. So I went with the Mockingbird stroller. This company is a direct to consumer company. So they're able to provide a stroller that is quality but still affordable um, and I really like the the style and everything of the stroller but more than that I love the single to double feature that it has so if we were to have a second child kind of close in age we would be able to add on a second seat and not have to purchase a whole new stroller 
um, or a second stroller for a second child. So I really like the Mockingbird for that reason. So another item that is on our baby registry is a carrier. Now we were gifted this carrier for my grandmother, which is really great. It's more of a structured and solid carrier, which is really awesome. It's definitely something that Vanessa wanted as far as the carrier went. She didn't want to have to deal with like tying in and wrapping in and all of that stuff. But I do want that experience where, you know, baby's really close and um, I want to try a regular like wrap carrier. So I have put on the Solly Baby Wrap Carrier and I am very excited about this one. Obviously, once I get the groove of how to wrap it down, it should be smooth sailing from there. So those are all of the items that I am going to share with you today. Of course, there is so much more on my baby registry than just that but I wanted to highlight some of the items that I'm really excited about and some of the reasons why I chose them. Um, we currently have a lot of clothes for the baby. So I haven't put on too many clothing items onto the registry, but of course there are some items on there. And other things that are on my registry are of course like toys and books and things like that, as well as safety items, bath items, you know, nail clippers and little hairbrushes and free to nose suckers and all of that fun stuff is on there as well. But I hope that you enjoyed seeing what kind of items I put on my baby registry. Again, check out all of the links in the description below below as well as check out Kia Baby's website and see all that they have to offer and make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!